I'm here right now at the Pop Tart Gallery about to work with Jose Guzman Colon. So hot right now. Enjoy the show. right now in Los Angeles with Jose Guzman Colon, famous artist, up and coming artist in Los Angeles right now, and we're at the Pop-Tart Gallery. What are we doing here? We are turning Benjamin Godfrey into more than just a god. We're playing around with illusion and delusion, and uh, I'm really excited because, I mean, you came down here and we just basically, can I say fuck? Oh, fuck yeah. Can you say we fuck? We totally fucked it up. You guys, seriously, when you see what we did with this guy, I don't know how you're gonna react because most of you are either gonna love it or you're just gonna be like, what the fuck did Benjamin Godfrey just do? It's amazing, so proud of him. First time ever Thanks, in Isaiah. drag, right? First time officially gnarly style drag like we did. Gnarly, it was very gnarly. Actually, no, it was actually pretty amazing. It was very like, it was gender bending and also inspired like from uh, Dior catwalk makeup. And um, my favorites are going to be, uh, especially the ones of you on the ground naked. Oh, yeah. Surprise. Not naked. Only, not only does Jose have some sexy pictures coming, but we have the video counterpart exclusively oh for MedjamaGodfrey.com in the inner sanctum. I got to uh, Look oil. at these tattoos. I got to oil. Recognize these. I got to oil this man down, his butt, his ass, his nipples. I got to go down south Woo. amazing you're awesome dude you're awesome so how, how was it how was, how was it, it? How okay was it? How honestly was it? Like, seriously honestly I'll tell you girls and drag queens or anyone who wears makeup and clothes I feel for you man I mean I've been so lazy just rolling up to shoots with the scruffy hair in my underwear thinking that's hard you know it's not like right. today with all the makeup and my, my skin's really sensitive to it I have kind of like red eye going on but Ultimately, like, I didn't feel, when I, wearing those, the makeup and the clothes, I didn't feel that necessarily feminine. Isn't that weird? Well, I don't think it was necessarily that it was feminine. It was just gender bending. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, it was really cool for me as somebody who was in the sex industry for so many years and doing drag for so many years. And I've always gotten so much crap from people about, like, oh, why you do drag or why you blah, 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 you know, and, um, I think it's cool that somebody as iconic right now with what you're doing, you know, with sensuality and, and everything that you do so provoking that we just twisted it up. So I'm really excited to hear the conversations that come from this. And I think that to me more than the work is the exciting part. You know what I mean? To see how your fans are going to react right. to that. So I think that's going to be really rad. Are you going to yeah. make a print of it and put it in your gallery? I'm actually, we are going to be traveling with uh, Pushing the Illusion and uh, this young gorgeousity of a man slash the thing, look, <laughs> is going to be on the show. Uh, it's going to be traveling with us on the walls wherever we go. And uh, hopefully you'll be seeing this sexy god and uh, maybe some of his uh, friends along too, so. Jose Guzman Colon, so hot right now. And I want you to check him out on Twitter as well. It's at Glam Gender. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely amazing. I look so, forward to sharing. I'm so excited, time. man. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Word. And uh, I hope your face comes back to you. Yeah. <laughs> look at us, we just did something. Oh my oh. God, we did a lot. Oops. <laughs>